Got a servo laying around you have virtually no use for? Make a winch out of it. Take a look. I'm going to make three winches out of these servos. Whether or not they'll hold up, well, time will tell. One is a JX6221MG. I tested that servo a while back and it was pretty bad. Just really don't like it at all. Here's a hex fly servo out of a Red Cat Gen 7 and a good old Traxxas 2075X. We're going to open these things up and make winches. Another nice thing about all three of these servos, they all have bearings, dual bearing support on the output gear. That bearing on the Red Cat servo just came out with the gear, but no big deal, but at least you can see the O-ring that they put in there. That's actually pretty nice. Unless you buy a 360 degree servo or a servo winch for like a sailboat or something, you're gonna have these little limiters right here. One, two, and three. Those all have to come out so the output gear can simply turn a full circle. With these gears, some of them have a through hole like that one that you can just simply punch it out. Or you get one like this one, which is the Red Cat, and this one, which is the Traxxas. There is no through hole, so you have to pry them out. Usually a pair of small side cutters can get them out, but if you're going to do that, don't chip the teeth. Sometimes getting these pins out can be very frustrating and don't pinch yourself or you'll bleed. Anyway, I ended up using nose cutters right there and I was able to pry them right out. Now that we've got the pins out, I've got the gears out for the most part. The first gear is still there. We need to look into each case individually and we've got to remove the potentiometer in each one of these. Okay, I've got the boards out. The Traxxas was the most pain in the butt because I had to desolder some the actual motor tabs. Now this one broke the potentiometer as I was pulling it out of the JX. Now you can actually use the stock potentiometer and just let the receiver power the winch and everything. However, I've had I've had drifting issues with that and you can't really run 3S to it like I can with the Hobbywing 1060 ESCs. Now, the motor in the JX appears to be in there pretty well. I don't think it's going to move too much. The Red Cat actually has some epoxy in it holding it in place. That's a good thing. And the Traxxas, I just added a couple drops of super glue down beside the motor there, even though it seems like it's in position pretty well. So at this point, it's time to put the JSTs on the motors. When I say JSTs, I'm talking about these little red plugs right here and they are soldered directly to the motor tabs. Now, I run each motor already with this little 2S and they all sound perfectly fine. I highly recommend you give the motor a good test to make sure everything is good to go before you start reassembling the gear train. When you get everything back together, you'll have a servo winch. Simple as that. I'm gonna go ahead and give them a quick run for you guys. Here's the JX. Now keep in mind these servers were never meant for this, so a little added noise is just fine. Besides, you won't notice this while you're winching up something. Here we have the hex fly. Sounds a little bit slower. But overall, it sounds fine. And here's the Traxxas. That one looks pretty darn good. Nice. My favorite ESC to use as a winch controller is the Hobbywing Quick Run 1060. Love this ESC. Super reliable and easy. As you can see, I've already got it set up for winching. Now, if you have your stock RTR ESC, like the XL5, you can totally use this just fine. It'll work just fine because it's it's in crawler mode. So you have instant forward, instant reverse, and you have that drag brake. The drag brake is important. If the ESC you're wanting to use doesn't have drag brake, do not use it. You won't be happy. Now this is the Hexfly ESC, which I believe is the their version of a 1040 by Hobby, by Hobbywing, I believe it is. But this ESC also works. But your old axial ESCs and all that work just fine. So yeah, simple as that. As far as the winch drum goes, you can just simply make it out of a sewing bobbin like this one. Simple, easy. It's bolted to a round servo horn. 
The winch line is tied to the horn itself so it doesn't slip, and it's that simple. So guys, now you have a use for all those old stock RTR servos that you don't want anywhere. Now, make a winch out of them. Guys, hopefully this helps you out, and as always, thank you all for watching.